Which of the following services allows you to have root level access to the underlying operating system? So the options are Option A EMR Option B EC2 Option C RDS Option D DynamoDB Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is A and B EMR and EC2. You can use SSH to access the underlying operating systems of EMR and EC2. Let's move to the next question. So the 42nd question is. You've been tasked with the implementation of an off-site backup DR solution. You will only be responsible only for flat files and server backup. Which of the following would you include in your proposed solution? Select all that apply. So the options are Option A EC2 Option B Storage Gateway Option C Snowball Option D S3 Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1. So the right answer is B. C and D Storage Gateway. Snowball and S3. EC2 is a compute service not applicable to this scenario. All others could be part of a comprehensive backup DR solution. Let's move to the next question. So the 43rd question is. You've enabled website hosting on a bucket called S3 Cloud Hub India's West 2 region. Which of the following is the URL that will be assigned to your website? So the options are Option A S3 Cloud Hub dot S3 website us West 2 dot Option B S3 website us West 2 dot S3 Cloud Hub dot Com. Option C S3 website dot S3 Cloud Hub as West 2. Amazing us. Com. Option D none of the above. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is a s3 cloud hub dot s3 website us west to dot amazing us. Com. Your bucket name always comes first. S3 website followed by the region always comes next. Let's move to the next question. So the 44th question is. You are auditing your RDS estate and you discover an RDS production database that is not encrypted at rest. This violates company policy and you need to rectify this immediately. What should you do to encrypt the database as quickly and as easily as possible? So the options are Option A. Use the RDS import export wizard to migrate the unencrypted RDS instance across to a new encrypted database. Option B. Take a snapshot of your unencrypted DB instance and then restore it making sure you select your encrypt the new copy. Option C. Use OUS database migration service. Option D. Create a new DB instance with encryption enabled and then manually migrate your data into it. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is D. Create a new DB instance with encryption enabled and then manually migrate your data into it. At the present time, encrypting an existing DB instance is not supported. To use Amazon RDS encryption for an existing database, 
Create a new DB instance with encryption enabled and migrate your data into it. Let's move to the next question. So the 45th question is, you need to develop an infrastructure that can be replicated and deployed in another AWS region in a matter of minutes. Which AWS service might you use to build a reproducible version controlled infrastructure? So the options are Option A EC2 AMEs with EBS snapshots Option B Elastic Beanstalk Option C Cloud Formation Option D Cloud Watch Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is C Cloud Formation. AWS Cloud Formation gives developers and systems administrators an easy way to create and manage a collection of related AWS resources, provisioning and updating them in an orderly and predictable fashion. Let's move to the next question. So the 46th question is, your on-premise servers are running low on disk storage space. But your company is not yet ready for a complete move to the public cloud. You've been tasked with finding an interim storage solution that also offers backup and archiving capabilities. Which AWS service would you recommend to meet this immediate need? So the options are Option A Snowball Option B Storage Gateway with Gateway Cached Volumes Option C Direct Connect Option D Storage Gateway with Gateway Stored Volumes Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is B Storage Gateway with Gateway Cached Volumes. Storage Gateway with Gateway Cached Volumes would store your most frequently accessed data on-premise and would write your other data to S3. Let's move to the next question. So the 47th question is, Your AWS environment contains several reserved EC2 instances dedicated to a project that has just been cancelled. You need to recoup the cost of these reserved instances. And you need to preserve the data for future use. What can you do to minimize charges for these instances? So the options are. Option A takes snapshots of the EBS volumes and terminates the instances. Option B contact AWS and ask them to release you from your reserved instance purchase. Option C. Stop the instances and retain them for future use. Option D. Sell the unused instances on the AWS reserved marketplace. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is D. Sell the unused instances on the AWS reserved marketplace. You should retain the data by taking snapshots of the EBS volumes backing your instances and sell the instances on the reserved instance marketplace. Let's move to the next question. So the 48th question is. You must encrypt all incoming and outgoing traffic between your servers and your customers. Your fleet of EC2 instances lives inside a public subnet and behind an elastic load balancer. Your application is very CPU intensive. And you want to minimize the processing load these EC2 instances must bear. What should you do? So the options are. Option A. Install the SSL certificates on each EC2 instance and allow them to do the encryption decryption with your customers. Option B. Install the SSL certification on your ELBs so that there is less load on EC2 instances. 
Option C. Use API Gateway to offload the SSL certificate. Reducing the amount of load on both your ELB and ED2 instances. Option D. Configure a NAT and install the EC2 instances on that NAT so that you offload SSL termination to a third-party EC2 instance and not your production environment. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is B. Install the SSL certification on your ELBs so that there is less load on EC2 instances. The best answer would be to offload your SSL decryption to an elastic load balancer. Let's move to the next question. So the 49th question is. The company you work for is considering a move to AWS. But they are concerned that their current 50 megabits per second connection will not be able to handle the 100 terabits of data that need to be migrated without causing unacceptable downtime. As their solutions architect, which AWS service would you recommend to move this data? So the options are Option A Snowball. Option B S3 with transfer acceleration. Option C AWS Direct Connect. Option D AWS Storage Gateway. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is a snowball. Given the amount of data to be moved and the speed of the connection, Snowball would be the fastest and most economical solution. Let's move to the next question. So the 50th question is, One of your junior developers needs access to an elastic load balancer in your custom VPC. This is the first and only time he will need access to AWS services. Which of the following choices is the most secure way to grant this access? So the options are Option A. Create a new IAM user with the required credentials. Option B. Let them log in with admin credentials and change the admin password when he is finished. Option C. Add that developer to a group with the requisite access. Option D. None of the above. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is a create a new IAM user with the required credentials. It's always best practice to grant users access via IAM roles and groups. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.